everybody, this is Dr. Fang Mei Luo from Tiffin University. Welcome to this lecture. This is a, a lesson for introduction to scientific thinking. Mainly this lecture is for research design uh, class. Okay, so are you ready for the class? Okay, if you are ready, let's start it. Okay. So, before we start it, okay, some people will say, oh, why need to do research? Because for some reason, quite a few students, they don't like to do research. They don't even want to take this class. Okay, why? Maybe because some people told them, hey, this class, you need to write a paper, okay? Or they tell them, well, this class you can need to run the data. Or this, or that. Okay. My advice is don't listen to people, listen to your heart. Okay. Because this class, okay, research design class, going to help you to have a, a product, a research project done. Okay. I sometimes joke and say, you are going to have a baby. Okay. Ac not, uh, academic baby, okay? Don't think the wrong way, okay? Because you are going to think about an idea you like to do, and then you start to collect data, you know, and you are going to become expert once you are done, and I'll be, will be so proud. I always say your product, your baby is my grandchild, right? So we'll be win-win, right? So hopefully, you will learn to like it, okay? So, because we are going to do about research. So, when we talk about research, then it's something to do with the science, okay? Even many of you, you listen this, you may be in social science. It's still science, okay? And science, what's that word even mean? Okay, science equal what? You see this, okay? In science, okay, actually they are equal to knowledge. Equal to knowledge, okay? So science, how do you get knowledge through scientific methodology? First of all, so let me put all this out, right? First of all, you have to what? Look, look around, observe, okay? find something you have been observed for example for pandemic okay you have been observed or observe yourself stay home for so many months right and you have to take class online all this right and you may feel stressful you may feel depressed all this right something you, you can observe or you can observe how people respond to the mask Right, that's that's also a good a good thing to think about it, right? So then after you do all your observation, the second thing you need to do is you need to put something to evaluate. Okay, because if you want to do the scientific research, then you not just he said, she said, you have to have a data, okay? So you need to have a uh, we call questionnaire, uh, create questionnaire to evaluate the, the things you like to um, research about, okay? Then the third item is you have to, after you collect all this data, you need to give out an interpretation, right? Because when you do research, you not only get data, you also need to find a read the article, you need to find other people's research, right? And so you can compare and see what other researchers say, are they you know similar to whatever your data say? If they yes, what what they are the same, if they are different, why they are different. So you need to give out the interpretation. Okay. And then um, I also like you to have a, some theoretical background to support your research. Okay, so that's very important. Okay, that's very important for 
we say four direction, right? Of observation, evaluation, and what? Interpretation and what? Theoretical um, explanation, okay? And so when we do the scientific method, it's also we call research methodology, right? It's a set of scientific te technique. So I put a, I put a, a, just a picture here, say follow the rule, right? When you play the game, don't you follow the rule, right? Same thing to do the research, right? So that is a, a, a set of technique, systematic technique. They help you to acquire and modify and integrate the knowledge concern the things you know that you have been observed for so long and you want to use that set of uh, step to help you to get things get to the, the the place you want to go okay so they have a step so actually for this lecture we are going to do step by step so to help you uh, to think how how can you get to um, the, the the end and finish your project okay so they have a couple things we need to do first of all you need to identify the problem right when we say problem here it's not really negative way okay the problem actually just means the topic the title you like to do research you need to identify right because you need to know what you want to do then then you can plan the way Right. For example, you want to the travel, you need to have a goal, a target place, right? You want to go to New York, you want to go to, you know, uh, Cincinnati or somewhere, you need to have a, a goal. So same thing when you do research, you need to identify the problem, okay? And then after you identify the problem, then of course you need to develop a research plan. Then when you fit, plan your research, have your research plan, then you need to conduct a research, right? Conduct a research, and then you have to start to analyze your data and after you get all this data then you need to communicate your result right and then hopefully do all this you get a new idea okay so let's start with how do you identify the problem how do you identify the problem okay to identify identify the problem First thing, ask yourself, what do I want to know? What area is the, my interesting area? Okay, so for example, my previous student, some people interesting, they are a uh, cyber uh, major, right? And they're always interested to know how people set up their password, how often they change their password, right? Or my student from criminal justice, they are interested about how people's opinion about uh, for example, uh, death penalty, okay? They, uh, they want to compare if people, student major in criminal justice, uh, their point of view about criminal, uh, penal, death penalty different from people they are not criminal justice, right? Or if my student, they major in psychology, they may be concerned about uh, if people, um, they are depression or anxiety about exam, right or something right so first of all think about what area really interesting you okay then after you have some idea then go into our ohio link okay start to do your uh literature re research okay we because chance are the idea you want to do research have already have research out there okay so it's good to see what people um already done so they can give you a, a idea about how do you move on, okay? Well, this also the require, okay? For for you to uh, finish a research paper, actually you need to have collect at least 10 peer review articles. That means the article have been uh, reviewed by um, other profession and then, you know, published in the uh, professional journal, okay? You know, don't worry about where did you find it. If you go to our library, our library website, go to our Ohio link, also we call Dragon Quest, then you can check my say, peer review journal, then you'll find that. Okay, if you just Google, sometimes those is not peer review journal. Okay, 
So, but you can also before when you before you start it, you can Google it, see some idea. It's okay, but not use that as your reference. Okay. The third, identify the new idea for the area you are interested. In. Okay. So if you like interesting about this, and then if already people already do a lot of research, what can you do something new? Okay. Then you have to develop a hypothesis. Okay, so just because things are already there, it's not mean they always choose. Okay, so you can do the, uh, we call, um, you know, up, up to critical thinking. Okay, so make a statement, change, become questions. Okay, but you need to make a hypothesis. So we have definition here. When we say hypothesis, that means a specific testable claim or prediction about what you expect to observe given a set of circumstances. So for example, we all uh, back to school and we have to wear a mask. So your hypothesis will be saying uh, student, when they wear mask, they feel more safe than if student they don't wear a mask. Right, so they can be your hypothesis. Okay, it makes sense. So this is a step uh, to help you to identify the problem. Okay, so you have to think about what you like interesting to know, review some article, you know, then find something you're already interested in, any new idea, and then develop a research hypothesis. Okay, now the next step. It's you need to um, develop a research plan. Okay, you need to develop a research plan. Okay, so um, when you develop research plan, first of all, you need to find, define a variable. What's a mean variable? Uh, just you are interested about something, right? But you need to have a, a, a term. For example, we say a uh, pandemic. Right, and then pandemic can have so many issues there. Um, maybe your variable is depression, right? Or your variable is anxiety. Okay, so that would be your variable, the variable you like to study about. Okay, the variable you want to study about it. So in the first one, you see the first part, I have the definition <coughs> a variable. So a variable is any value or characteristic that can change or uh, vary from one person to another or from one situation to another, okay? So for example, when we say, <clears throat> I want to study about depression, well, everybody will have different level of depression, a different level of depression. depression. So variables mean everybody will have a different, okay? You will have a different value. For example, you say one to five, okay? label your stress okay some people may say five some people may say four some people may say one you know <clears throat> that is variable okay now after you have variable then you need to give the second uh box there called operational definition that's mean you need to define your variable so for example when you say depressed what do you mean okay when you say anxiety what do you mean how do you define anxiety? Okay, so for example, you, you may say, one of your questions may say, I wake up very early because I, I'm worried about something going to happen so I cannot continue to sleep. Okay, that is your definition. So how early? So uh, they, they normally sleep until 8 o'clock, they wake up at 5. So is that consider anxiety in your definition? You are a researcher. You can decide, okay. But of course, if you look at the other people's article, it will be that will be helpful, okay. So definition here, operational definition is a, a description of some observable event event in terms of specific process or manner by which it was observed or measured, okay. So pretty much, you have to give them concrete definition that easy for you to create your questionnaire and easy for people to answer your question okay and then after that you have to decide 
who 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 is my population? Who is the people I'm going to do my research? Okay, I'm going to do research for college student, or I'm going to research for adult. Okay, or I'm going to research for kindergarten teacher or student or whatever. Who will be your group? Okay, because each different group, their opinion about something will be different and depend on what the purpose for your research. So you have to decide, okay? And of course, you can say, I'm going to study college student. Well, so the next step is who is your sample? What is your sample, right? You have no way to study all the what? All the population, you know, you have no way, you know, First of all, it's very costly to have that many, many people to, 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 to do your survey and you will never finish. It will stay too long. So you just need a sample. So the sample is a, a set of select individual item or data taken from the population of your interest. Okay, so that is um, when you develop your research. First of all, you need to know what's your variable. Right, what do you want to study that term, right? And then what is your definition for that variable, right? And then define what's who is your population, right? And then for the population, who will be your sample? Okay, so this is develop a research plan. Okay, then after that, you need to start to conduct a study. Okay, yeah, we are conduct a study, right? So um if you once you have that plan, then I will have you develop your questionnaire, you will need to get IRP approval, and after that, if you got approval, your, your questionnaire, everything ready, then you are ready to go. So this is called conduct the study. Okay. And so also uh keep in, in mind because of pandemic so the IRB not allow you to give the paper questionnaire, okay? So you have to think about put into the online system, okay? So collect the data electronically, okay? And I think this also more safe, okay? So that is third step, not, not much to just do, to say you have to do it, right? Okay, then when you are conduct a study, that means you collect the data. Okay, you collect the data. And then when you collect the data, what is the data there? Data is a number, right? So you have to analyze the data. That's why in this class, I'm going also going to teach you SPSS. Okay, that's called Statistical Program for Social Science. Okay, um, don't worry about it. It's so fun, okay? Even you don't like the statistics, you will like this program, okay? And then hopefully my goal is to help you to start with them like statistics. Okay, so then you just have a, a definition when we talk about it, like data and then the blue box have the definition from the data say they are measurement or observation that are typically numeric. Okay, numeric. So when we say data, of course, they can be a word. We will talk about later, we talk about qualitative research, quantitative research. Okay, so if you do the quantitative research, that means the numbers. So your data will be numbers. Okay, so the data is, you know, when, when, you, when you analyze your data, that means you want to see if your, your data is support or fail to support, okay, your hypothesis. Okay, so that is something we will take several, several sections to help you uh, ready to run your data, okay? Okay, then after that, right, then you need to start to write paper, okay, write the paper, okay, either you like or not, you have to write the paper, okay, and then also you need to share your result, okay, so communicate the result, um, can be oral, can be written, or a poster. Okay, so for this, for this class, you have to do written, and then I think I will also let you to present. Okay, uh, either in person or we will do in, in electronically. Okay, online presentation. Okay, 
and then uh, we are in social science so when you write a paper make sure you have to write APA style okay okay the next one is so once you done all this and hopefully you get new idea and then when you move on finish my class you become expert for the topic you know and then when you go to another field another class you can use that research as a foundation for your other research okay so this is one way and actually a major way in our class to get knowledge from scientific okay but of course we cannot deny as a human being you also have a other way to get knowledge okay the first one in this slide called uh, tenacity okay tenacity that's mean uh, usually based on superstitions uh, okay habit and so people get knowledge because they say, oh, I wonder, and then people tell me you should do this. For example, in this culture, say Black Friday, Friday 15, Friday 13 is not good, and so you tend to believe it. So when you uh, plan for some party, you try to avoid the day, okay? And then it's true or not, but it's the way you got knowledge for that, right? or sometimes we get knowledge through uh, intuition okay just you will say i feel i feel that something must be like this will happen so then you follow that way and that's your intuition right or people tell you authority right i'm sick here to tell you this is how you do research and you say okay sure 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 so i'm somehow playing authority role here right for this moment right or when you are at home your mother say you should do this should not do this right or the school right now tell us we all have to wear the mask right because that show the right way to protect ourselves protect other people so this is all from the authority right or sometimes we get knowledge from ration, uh, rationalism right we because a become b and B become C. So maybe A will lead to C, right? So that is that. Or the last one will actually is the one we are talking about in this class called empirism. Okay, so based on the experience or observation. Okay, so of course they in your in our life they we sometimes we get this, sometimes get we get this, okay? But I think the more we grow, we want to have more empirical foundation so make sure our knowledge is uh, it's more reliable okay but just because you find this you find this proof it's not mean always true right the the good thing for scientific study is you keep move, move on and you know, just because you finish you prove it some people can come against your approval okay and so we just need to keep learning okay but it's a good way to to make our society getting better and better okay now the question is what do we do research for what do we what do we do research for okay the goal for science is four there okay those four spot circle there in the yellow one there called explain okay maybe let's go from the the blue one first okay the very basic one is describe. Describe. Sometimes when you do the scientific research, the basic is you just want to describe what's going on. What's going on. For example, you get the data say how many percent right now um every day people do the statistics say how many people they get testing positive, how many people get negative, right? And so they didn't say why, they just describe what's going on right what's going on okay and then um the second goal is when you know what's going on then you want to explain why this happened in this way why this state their um case is is more than another state why this state is less than this state or the how the, why this state is less than another state 
Okay, so we want to get some explanation, right? And then what's that for? So if you know what's going on, then you can predict. You can predict. Okay, so we believe if you are mask, then you are going to have less chance to get caught uh, the virus. Then we predict if we do this, then must be good, right? And then hopefully you can control. We can control. So something we don't want to happen, we prevent. Okay, so that is the goal for science. Science is describe, right? Explain and then predict and then control. That sounds good? Okay. And almost done. Okay. So when we do the research, they also have a two direction. Okay. One is called basic research. One's called applied research. Okay. Basic research is mean you want to find some principle. Okay. Some basic foundation. Okay, so for example, people do more like laboratory research. Okay, that is called basic research. Okay, your interest is not try to apply that to the real setting. You just want to find what's going on. Okay, that's basic research. And applied research is here say answer the question about if this really able to solve the problem for that. Okay, so that's called applied research. Okay, so they have a, um, okay, sorry, I didn't show you that. Okay, so here, okay, so the blue side is called basic, basic uh, research. Okay, it's an answer question that address theoretical issue about fundamental process and underlying mechanics related to the behaviors and event being studied. Okay. Then apply research, say, answer question concerning practical problem with potential solution. Okay, so you can decide who, what kind of research you like to do. Okay, okay, and the last one, I mentioned this before, research also have a true way to acquire the knowledge, one is called qualitative research ones of quantitative research okay so quantitative that gray color one is about numeric data so you want to get the numbers so you can put into the statistics and you can run it okay or you want to do just um words you want interview people about the story what's going on okay or you are study about you know some language or something okay it's nothing to do with the number okay and so the difference also if you do quantitative you need a bigger sample size if you do the qualitative you do small set smaller sample size but deeper but deeper okay so they all have a different function and also depend on what are you interested okay but for this class i will more prefer you do quantitative research so you can know you can learn how to run the data okay so hopefully that is helpful for the future okay so actually that's it that's it for for this lecture it's not a hard right it's they will they, this will be a, a good map for you to take with you and then um uh, carry out and then finish your product but i i'm encourage you what you need to do right now is start to think about what do you want to do research. Okay, so then will be once you got idea and then we don't have much time to wait. Okay, so you know once you listen this lecture, I really want you to start think. And also in your Moodle, you have the quiz one for this is 10 questions. Okay, 10 questions. So uh, when you have chance, please go and finish your quiz. Okay. So hopefully, uh, and if you are not my student, you listen to this lecture, welcome. And also, if you are interested about this channel, you can uh, subscribe. So then that's me when I have a new um, video, then they will notify you. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful for the lecture, and I see you soon. Bye-bye.